Kia ora, ko Ole Toku Ingwa, ko Natahine me na pui. Toku Iwi it explores kind of themes of monotony and um, uses satire, theatre tools um, to create a dark humour on this stereotype that we see in society. Um, and yeah, I turned in towards myself and looked at the parts of me which are still colonised and the process of decolonising myself and my art practice. Yeah, and I had like all of these ideas uh, forming and stuff. It was I found at the beginning it was really hard to just kind of like grasp onto the one rather than have just heaps and heaps and heaps of ideas. Um, but I think as the weeks went on, just like finding exactly what I'm interested in and what really works with the dancers and where it's going uh, helped. And like, I guess on the other end of it, I'm really proud of myself for what I accomplished over all those weeks and what we found and like the connections that were made with the different ideas and concepts. A bunch of creative provocations that helped us to envision and imagine a sense of our safe spaces and kind of imagine that we're in it as we're moving and as we're dancing and kind of trying to internalise what that meant in our bodies. To uh, choose what, a taonga that they feel really connected to and we spent about an hour just connecting with our taonga through nohopuku or meditation and then through a little bit of improv and then a bit of a free write and then we just talk to each other about how that felt and I think a lot of different things came up for all of us and it was really great to share that with each other. I guess I wouldn't even say on the other side of the process because the process is ever going, it's ongoing because there was no product produced. The work still changes and evolves as we move in and out of COVID frameworks, as we move in and out of different social and political conversations. Um, and that applies to all art and all dance making, but I think that is what whore is at its purest form is this uncontained, undefined project and process in space where we are allowed to fully investigate and be our authentic selves when it comes to dancing. Well, I realised that I wasn't told to make it work, I was told to research. And so after I kind of came to that realisation, it was, it was nice. It was just a really nice feeling, learning what I wouldn't have gone out to look for in the first place. I wouldn't have researched into the story, I wouldn't have researched more into my iwi. So I think it was, I was scared at the beginning, but then coming out on the other side, I'm like super grateful because I've learned so much about myself as well as my peers as well. Do we consider Tonga tapu or are they noa or do they change between the two as um, it goes through its life because I feel like Tonga is a living thing, it's a living force, it has its energy, it has its essence, um, it has its personality so I think it has something to say as well. So we'll discover that I think in the future.